So some of us are pretty curious about it, and I know I was. I wanted to know exactly how linear fusion rifles stack up against something like Queen Breaker's Bow. Now, Queen Breaker's Bow is technically speaking, it's a linear fusion rifle, which essentially is just a fusion rifle turned into a sniper rifle um, with a, a low set zoom, or in this case, just a, a regular set of sights right there. So it's not necessarily, uh, it's got, it doesn't have a magnification of what you would have with a sniper rifle. Now, this is kind of funny. This one actually has arc damage as well, which is the same as Queen Breaker's Bow. So... We're going to be comparing kind of what we have with Queen Breaker's Bow in Destiny 1, um, but I'm not going to really get too hung up on that. I'm kind of going to veer off and talk about uh, Tarantula itself, how it was working in PvP, and what was going on with it. Now, again, this thing says right here, fires a long-range precision energy bolt. This weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. You know, the, the recoil pattern, that's something we're going to talk about here, uh, especially here in this middle column right here. Um, there's two different perks right here, and they really focus up on your recoil or range so for this right here it increases stability and it says constraints recoil for every bolt and then uh, projection views uh, increases range now what's so curious about this is that to me for a weapon such as this you know constraining recoil is not that big of a, de a deal because it's a one shot it's a one shot you're done with it whereas something like a fusion rifle where there is a spread there uh, something like you know something like a, this part this particle repeater might actually be something extremely viable you know it, and it maintains that that bolts from from actually uh, separating from one another and, and making your one hit kill potential uh, from a distance a very good one that's something that I've seen on silence vigil to be really good and so I don't really think that that's necessarily the perk to go with I felt like projection fuse is the way to go it increases range that's what you're going to really want with this weapon because essentially you want to be able to kill at all ranges. Again, both of these perks depends on the map where you're going to be rocking with it. Now, I'm going to go back to the barrel perks in just a second. But let's, let, let's look at this trait right here. I love how everything is split like this, by the way, guys. I like the way weapons are now. Now, the snapshot sights, faster to aim down sights, essentially it's just snapshot. Uh, we've had it before in Destiny 1. It's nice. It's snappy. Um, with something like a linear fusion rifle, this makes all the difference. That time to ADS, uh, because you're going to be going in and out of, out of corners and stuff like that. You're going to essentially take cover before you actually shoot. And so snapshot sights helps it so very much. I almost want to believe this is just going to have to be something uh, needed on just about all of these you know, linear fusion rifles to begin with. Um, but it's something that definitely was apparent to me yesterday. Uh, and today and was really jumping out to me now hammer forge rifling small bore corkscrew rifling some of these names are, are extremely similar to what we've seen you know uh, small bore is something that definitely helps out with both range and stability uh, corkscrew rifling is like a weaker version of small bore but instead it tacks on a little more handling uh, and then right here you've got hammer forge rifling which of course just maximizes that range again guys I'm going for the most optimal range I can possibly go for um, you know if you depending on the map say if it was a really close quarter map just entirely close quarter maybe I would go with something like corkscrew and then maybe something like particle repeater uh, and just kind of work off of that have something to just walk around just try to quick scope people um, that may be it another thing I want to point out is that the the arc damage mod down here uh, equip, equip this to a weapon to charge it's rounds with arc energy and it's got all these different mods and stuff like that that's really cool man i mean i am i am really interested in seeing how these mods work out and what the effect may be uh in crucible and what we may be seeing but let me talk about this weapon and how it compares to queen breaker's bow and also how this weapon was working in destiny so someone today in the chat asked me why I was comparing different weapons and things like that to the ones here in Destiny 1. It's because I've seen too many similarities, guys. You're right. It is a new game. I will say that. But there's too many similarities. And let me just go ahead and point this out. Creambreaker's bow has an impact of 78, okay? An impact of 78 that pretty much puts it in line with a crit shot damage of 223 and a body shot damage of 149. Now, what is the impact for Tarantula? Surprisingly, so its impact is at 75 putting its body shot damage at 135 and as i saw the crit shot damage around 203 do the math you see where the archetypes are starting to fall into place as in this weapon is extremely similar to queen breaker's bow which is why i was pointing things out like our hand cannons our assault rifles or even even things like smgs the similarities i see between these weapons and many of the ones in destiny one is still there as in the foundation for different 
different various archetypes are still there as well as different various time to kills but we're not going to really get into that what i'm trying to say is that's the the issue there and that's why i do a lot of these comparisons right now and i i, I mention it so many times in the middle of streams uh the similarities i see between a lot of these weapons it's not just numbers i'm just pulling uh out of my ass now I will say Tarantula itself is a, a pretty nice linear fusion rifle, but with, of course, it's a learning curve, okay? And Queen, Queen Breaker's bow, uh, in a sense, some way. Uh, I don't have any other stats on Tarantula in terms of aim assist value, and that is something that is going to be a question for, I know, many of you. Uh, I know a lot of people recognize Queen Breaker's bow as being uh, a very high aim assist weapon. I can tell you right now, Tarantula felt extremely similar, and, and it has the same same snapshot fashion in terms of snagging those crit shots, uh, even at a, at a pretty hefty distance. That's Tarantula, guys. I hope somebody actually picks it up and uses this beta. You know, I see so many people using the fusion rifle, uh, the rocket launcher, and the shotgun, uh, and some using the sniper, but I have not seen hardly anyone using the linear fusion rifle. So, Hopefully, we'll have some people actually give it a try and give it a go, man. I found it to be a very rewarding weapon, especially when you land those crits, man. It just, oh, man, it felt good, guys. Well, fellas, as always, thank you so much for coming to watch it. And there's something in particular you want me to look at for this beta, man, definitely let me know. And as always, guys, I'll catch you all later. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.